Hi YouTubers, I hope you're all okay this morning. This is a bit of a rant in a way, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, this is um, paper. You can see it's white, a very good, a good paper. And there, behind it, is the Saunders paper, which is a yellowy cast with it. Now this Saunders, as you can see, it's not a thick paper. It's a 90 pounds, and I rather like it for doing this uh, hake painting which we're going to do today. And I say it's a 90 pounds, but it's a little bit more expensive than the Fabriano which people use. But I say why? Why not uh, help yourself if you can? Why might make things more difficult by using a poor paper when you can perhaps a couple of pound more have one which is better for doing the job. Now as you know it's always wet all over uh, with the Fabriano and with a series of brushes like these. And there again, in a way what you're doing, you're hampering yourself by using these brushes because it's more difficult to use them than ordinary watercolour brushes. Now, when we talk about doing the Hake painting, it's an overlap really into watercolour. Purely an overlap into watercolour. And I say, if you want to use the difficult brushes like these, and I can just show you by way I can do it, and I'll show you doing it with these. It's a little bit flash doing it with these because you like flashing it on. But um, being all in all, why make things difficult, I always say, with painting or anything else. Now this one I'll use purely for doing a bit of uh, wetting in that sort of wet it, wet it in. Oh, now we need... Uh, we need to think about what we're going to do as regards the painting, aren't we? Okay, so I th everybody seems to love her. one of those paintings with a lot of, wait a minute, a lot of uh, water in. It is a helpful thing for, so we'll do one like that, that's an old one I have here. And we'll use these brushes, but I'll start off by wetting the paper. Just a quick look at what I'm doing. Settle it into my mind so I can do it without thinking. Oh, oh God blimey, I've left that dirt into there, haven't I? So I'm just wetting it in, right? So I'm wet it in. I'm not flashing about that. This is no need to do. Just, just, just wet it in normally. It's only, it's nothing special. We don't need all this rubbish. So what we'll do next, I'm going to pick, I'm going to use these two brushes because they're easier. I'm using this, you can see yourself, it's a big brush, it's just hard work unnecessarily. Okay now I've just put ordinary, got this ordinary palette here, I'll show you the palette with the yellow. And it, this is all cheap paint. But it's not, uh, uh, it's um, the Russian paint. Now when you're doing this, don't, there's your blue, there's your uh, yellow ochre, there's your cad yellow, there's your browns and your crimson, there's a little bit of orange, light red, burnt umber, grey and black. Now when you're doing, using these, don't flood, don't flood it all over. Okay, so what, say, if at morning, say it's coming a little bit late in the afternoon, and you know, what happens is, the sun's way behind there, so what it does, it leaves like a pinky cast on the clouds, doesn't it, like that. It's the sun hitting the underneath of the clouds, what's dying down at the background. So let's try and do that. So there's still a little bit of blue in the sky, See, now I'm not flooding it, just a little bit of blue there, see. Just, uh, 
make a few clouds like that see nothing special just a few clouds you don't need to sweep it what, what am I saying you don't need to do all that with that great big brush as I've said before it's up to you if you want to make it hard for yourself in life or doing anything I'm sure the old painters never did that they look for the easiest way didn't they and they made use of anything they, they used anything not just these these are not good brushes they're only really is it is it paint is it a, a watercolor or is it a a hake painting i think they said it's hake painting if you use this brush instead of a watercolor brush that's all no difference to me it's all watercolor anyway i'll just bring in now some uh, some a bit of uh, yellow ochre across this area of, of land here so I mean, I'm thinking as I want to drop a little bit of sunlight it's in that part there now I'm going to bring some bring some yellow now and some blue which will make a, a green perhaps a bit of yellow ochre in it don't go mad on this green now the green will just be a bit rough with it round here like that see you don't need to, I don't know, there we are, right now I think I'll get, I don't think I'll give you enough blue, I don't know why but uh, it, it's like a, a flower to a bee really, put a bit of blue on it drags people to look at it, I don't know why, the stronger the blue the more they'll look. It catches your eye. That will catch your eye. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just touching blue like that. See, you see what I'm doing? Just touching it like that. There's your green like that. I'm not going to turn. Just you could even le lose a few bits of white there. See, and that's no trouble at all. No, just at the back there we'll put a lump of, uh, we'll mix something like a bit of blue, a bit of yellow and a bit of uh, orange, like that. And what we'll do, we'll just put a few light trees there. Like that. Okay, so now we'll dry it off. Nothing's nothing's uh, removed or anything. Everything's nice and calm and not flying all over the place. It's just uh, just pull this corner a little bit to get that. There's a little bit of a bump here, see. So we're getting that out now. With it being a nice soft linen paper, you can pull it out. You're not struggling with it like you would be with a a wood pulp paper you can pull it nicely as again I'm saying why make things hard for yourself this again and think to it let's put some darker greens a bit darker green now what well, if we make some uh, la lemon like that and we can use a bit of this is Payne's grey put some Payne's grey with it like that see and there you have eh, there's your dark Put a little bit more of a there's your dark colour. Right. And then you can mm, let's see, you can add a few. Go like that, see? I'm using corner of this brush. Man, yeah, probably it's because I'm used to it, but you, 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 if you're not used to it, use an ordinary, don't bother about using a brush like this. Use a rough, a rough, borrow an oil painting, rough brush, use that. Why make yourself difficult? 
Okay, so we will also put some a bit here, but just a little bit lighter so you can water it down a little bit and just put it along here. That's uh, not to, uh, just to uh, roughen the top, but don't it roughen, roughen everything. No, getting it straight with me is the tr tricky bit. Right, there we are. Take that bit of strength out there. You could put a little bit of strength on the lower part of it, see? Just like here. Go down to the bottom. Now, the next thing we'll get some wash our brush, dry it off a bit, this this brush. Get your yellow again. Let's put some uh, it likes yellow ochre. There's our yellow ochre. Let's spike it a bit. Now we have two choices here. We can spike it now or we can spike it with this darker cast over the top and bring it in. You know, with me? Okay, so now we'll just do this. It likes... It, 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 the yellow ochre seems to be... Oh, Ross, yeah, it does seem to like it when you put it on like this. It's... Uh, it gives something to it. See, if I'd put more there, you'd have well, a really bright. Let's put a bit under there, see. Yellow ochre. Okay, so now a bit of burnt umber. It's another earth colour which you like, which gives it a, a touch, see. It likes. You see? It does like it. Oh yeah. Now water that a bit. No. It's either a bit darker or a bit lighter. Now then, a bit more burnt umber. Now don't go mad on this thing when you're doing this. Just check your charm on it, but don't don't go mad on it. What I mean is don't to overdo it. Now what I'm trying to do now is go on with here, watch uh, some yellow ochre. Get some yellow ochre in it. Now get back to your grey with your bit of green. But this here you'll be able to put to uh, colour over it easy enough. But, uh, let's see if it comes to make some sp spikiness into that. The now then, a bit more dark, strangely enough. No. no, let's just uh, clean my palette out now. I have got a one or two in it, which I don't want. As you can see, oh, there's some 
coming from that move, is it? It don't matter about that. Won't she all? We'll get it on the boy, pop it. It's just go. There we are. Probably been a bit over enthusiastic with the water. Now I'm squirreling it, flattening it off. Get it as flat as I can. Now, that doesn't look much, but when I put other things in, it'll jump out at you. And a bit more dark. I do like a bit of darkness since Now watch, we'll just do a bit of this, see. No, call that done. Apart from some lining work on it, maybe that should have been stronger. Let's talk about wrongs and rights about it. This could have been a lot stronger, as you know, it dries a lot lighter. And this should have been stronger, which you could go over it now and strengthen it up if you like. But what we'll do now, I'll just get the uh, the lining brush from the old uh, watercolour, what I've been doing. Oh, look at that. This is hard as nails. <laughs> just give me a second, just uh, it'll soon soften up. No, yeah, don't do as I do. Let it go hard. <laughs> I don't bother me, do I? Just don't care, really. It's all. They're the same brushes, I keep using, I let some go out and then I use them, let some go out and I, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't bother them either. Yeah. 
Oh, I'll go on with have a dead tree there. Why not? No, let's just make that darker there. See, it make a big difference to it. Do you have some out and out again? that piece there waiting for it eh? waiting that this is waiting for it to be through there isn't it and that it's waiting to be branched there you are there's your leaves what uh, this is our this tree we'll call Billy on that Benny. We could call it after the shepherd, Basil. <laughs> Basil. <laughs> Basil. Okay, yeah, I'll say you're okay. I hope you are okay, everybody. Well, I think what I'll do, I'll, I'll show you some uh, a couple of roses I love, and it's called compassion. And that's what we all want some compassion, don't we? Hey, so I've got I'm going outside and a couple of nice compassion roses growing there, and I'll drop them in and show them you. On the scent, you know, is beautiful from compassion. It's like a, a warm pink floribunda type rose. Eh? I like that song, Rubber Balloons, Rubber Balloons, Rubber Balloons. Crikey, what's that garden next door? There we are, kid. How'll that do for the air eat? I don't know whether you call it a, a watercolour or a. There we are, see. Or what do they call them? A hake painting. Choose which one you can't want to call it. I'll. Uh, what shall I call that? Eh? I don't know. Let's talk, I'll tell you what we'll say. We'll call it Let's Talk About a Hag. And it's not a fish.
Well, thanks for looking in, everybody.